cards, the cards, the cards will tell. The past, the present, and future as well. The cards, the cards, just take three. Will Basil have enough to beat Zoro and Luffy? <laughs> Yo, peoples! Kyushu92 here with yet another One Piece chapter reaction and review. Oh boy! We're back at it again! Onwards to chapter 913, Sudo Repays a Favor. Dropping in on the lives of the Straw Hat Grand Pirate Fleet, Volume 41, or Lumbus Arc, 5 p.m., a grateful farewell pirate debt debut failed. <laughs> Uh, the life of Orlumbus. But let's go ahead and move on because it says, Sudu repays a favor. There's only one person I know by the name of Sudu, and she's with the re she's with the Marines. So let's go ahead. A face-off between members of the worst generation. Because as you remember, the last chapter we got is Zoro and Luffy, both reunited, but now they are face-to-face -face with the headliner of Kaido's crew, also known as one of the worst generation, Magician Basil Hawkins. <sighs> okay, this is not a place for casual sightseeing. Do you know who holds the reins in the shadows of this country? No, we don't. It's Kaido, right? I'm here to beat up that Yanko. Oi, Luffy, Kinemon said we shouldn't say things like that either. Never mind, I was just kidding. And we got a... Uh, Komachiyu? Komainu, the Komainu Chiyu? Uh, she's still care. It's still carrying Tama, and she's breathing heavily. One of the worst generation, Basil Hawkins, bounty of three hundred and twenty million berries. The chance that one month from now you all will be alive is nineteen percent. And Zoro's just in silence. By the way, where'd you get that katana? Hmm. Oh, this sword. This name Swordeth. No, seriously, it actually has the air of a true named sword. Give me it for a second. And you got all of these crew members. I got all the members that are with Basil Hawkins right now. They're starting to surround Luffy. Take that! Oh, you on your door? Hey, just let me see it, okay? You can't use a sword anyway, right? And don't just chuck the scabbard like that. How are you just gonna throw the scabbard like that? No, no, I shall cut them with this blade! <laughs> Gamu Gamu no Pistol He's just punching them with the sword in his hand. He's not even using it at all. Pistol And then you have the uh the little snake the little snake raptor things are riding. Whoa! Either their next either their lizards attacking me Even their lizards attacking me And he just grabs it by the head You little and he throws it at Basil. What kind of a sword is that? Straw helping hand sword. Yo! It gets sent hurtling towards Basil Hawkins, but he literally stabs it in the back, and it doesn't even move him. Like, he just stops it dead in its tracks with absolutely no visual representation of the momentum going into him no sign of inertia nothing oh my goodness and it, it's like a sword made with straw but it's weird what is that sword and why'd you do that to that poor lizard and then you got Zoro just putting in work with the rest of the guys Whoa! Whoa! He sent a shockwave into Basil Hawkins and it hit him dead in the face. Whoa! Already? Hmm. Oh, okay, so it looks like he's he's using his Devil Fruit ability because one of his dudes takes the damage and he falls over dead, I think, because it just slashes him directly into the head. As expected, I suppose. Huh? Life minus one, and a little voodoo doll comes out of his body. Oh, are we going to get the name of his ability? 
What the heck? What what was that just now? This straw man this straw man is an effigy of my subordinates. With my straw straw powers, their lives reside within me. I cannot receive damage. With ten lives in me, I can die ten times. Now then, let us begin our game with the straw men's cards. And yo. 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 I don't know how. Maybe he's using his apparently straw straw abilities, but he's making this giant scarecrow dude, you know, like his uh his uh demon face form when we saw it in the Sabao de Archipelago. He's making like a super He's making like a much larger version just come out of the sword itself. So I don't know if the sword is an extension of him or he can manipulate the sword because it's straw. I now face two of the West Generation. I'm no earnest fool. I have no desire to fight you both honestly. Whoa, something came out of the sword. Looks like this guy's more trouble than I thought. Game? It begins. The fool reversed. Most unfortunate. The card of internal discord. And... Like, is his own crew slashing one another? And he loses another doll. He loses me another straw doll. Forgive me, the next card will be a good one. The more risk I bear, the greater the chance I... The greater the chance that I am granted a card that will allow me to surpass my own limits. What in the world are they doing? Yo, I think I know what's happening. He's using his cards on his own subordinates. Like the predictions of the cards on his own subordinates until he draws one. That'll allow him to surpass his own limits and take on both Luffy and Zoro. Just a theory of mine. Also, the reason why the lighting is this way is because it's been raining for the past five days. And it's been very, very, very gloomy. And I don't prefer the light inside of my room in order to light and all that it so I'm just using my phone flashlight in order for me to get the light that's going on so just in case you guys were wondering wow his face looks different but moving on oh right, what are you doing dog and apparently the dog's crying master Hawkins they're going to get away do not fret I have just drawn a wonderful card Tama her fever's crazy so that's why that dog just grabbed us the hero fant reversed the card of retribution. Kyo, go, 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 go. And apparently, apparently the skeleton coming out of his sword is kind of making that noise. Maybe it's his laugh. And it's carrying like this wooden stick with multiple nails in it. Looks like something that the Majini would fight with you with in Resident Evil 5. Whoa, it's after us! Protect the kid, I'll deal with this thing. Oh, whoa, it's after us. Protect the kid, I'll, I'll deal with this thing. And it's going after them. And it looks like he's able to manipulate the movements of this giant straw straw scarecrow from a distance. It doesn't have to just directly come out of his sword. I'm looking. It, the sword looks long, but it also looks like he's able to manipulate it from a distance without the sword being attached to it. And he swings. Ugh, the heck is this power? Nails? And he, the, like, it shoots nails at Zoro, who sort of steps in the way for, uh, and steps in the way so Luffy doesn't take the damage. Who? Zoro! Onyado! Nigiri! Toro! <coughs> Sorry, my throat's still been, still recovering since my, uh, My Hero Academia read-through earlier. So I'm, <clears throat> I'm not, my voice is uh, a little scraggly. My apologies. Toro Samon. Two cutter, climbing tower, and sand drawing. And, oh. If he damages the straw, does it damage Hawkins? Because I see it slash he slashes into the straw and then it slashes Hawkins though I'm not seeing any blood spots on him currently oh no 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 even if he slashes the straw it still slashes one of his own subordinates ah! shall we give chase master Hawkins 
The hero fant. I have drawn him again. A card of support. Someone will lend them a hand. They will escape. You two samurai are so strong! Huh? Who the heck are you? You two repelled Hawkins! Unbelievable! Yo, who is this? The green one over there saved me just now. My name is Sudu. Never mind! I got the wrong Sudu. This is Sudu. Tea house mistress Osudu. I wonder if she's related to the Sudu of the Marines. So now there are two Sudu. So you were in that gu this guy's tail this whole time? Forgive me for being so forthcoming, but that young one there, is that Otama of the Braided Hat Village? Do you know her? The river water must have... Don't take her to a doctor. Bring her to my tea house. What's going to happen? This isn't the time to be sitting around and sipping tea. I don't even know who this kid is, though. No, but boiling a medicinal herb and drinking the tea is the best antidote for the poisons in the river's waters. Do not worry. Please, allow me to repay the favor. I will treat your wounds, my green lord. My green lord? <laughs> I see. Okay, help us then. Thanks. Wano country, cootie, run downtown. Can't pay the ice you need. Can't pay the ice you need to keep this place open. You're basically just begging me to save then. Aren't ya Osaku? Whoa, what is going on? I am getting lost in these sentences right now. If you became my wife, you'd never work. You'd, you'd eat your belly full of food from... Okay. If you became my wife, you'd never work. You'd never... You'd eat your belly full of food... You'll eat your belly full of food from the plantation. That's exactly how it looks. We come from different worlds, I'm afraid. If you don't have anything to order, then I must ask that you... I don't want to eat any of this place's food. I don't want you run down tea or sweets. Look, I guess you don't know who I am, do you? I'm from a famous Yokozuna. F I'm a famous Yokozuna from the capital. Wano's finest sumo, s sumo wrestler, Urashima. And I guess he's talking to a tea house poster girl, Osaku. Oh, we're going to be seeing so many different women up here in the Wano country. Osaku! Ah, Mr. Sosudu. Button ain't like that. Put some, put some bugle weed to boil. Otama has drunk the poison of the. Si Otama has drunk the poison of the river. Yeah, oh no, I will right away. Atop a certain mountain. I'm telling you, that's them, the Straw Hats. Should we go get them before they cause too much of a fuss? Oh. I'm telling you, that's them, the straw hats. Should we go get them before they cause too much of a fuss? But you stand too, you stand out too much, Beppo. Here too, a member of the worst generation. Law is on Wano. Oh, Law! Wait, Law was always going to be on Wano. He's with Zoro right now. Laws on Wano. Oh boy, this was a good chapter. We finally found out the name of of uh, Basil Hawkins' Devil Fruit. So I cannot wait to see the names of the rest of the Worst Generation. We already do. We have the name of Scrat. We already have the name of of. Uh, well, actually, the only person we haven't seen yet is uh, Scratchman of Pooh. The ones that we don't know the names of is Scratchman Apu, Jewelry Bonnie, uh, Mad Monk Urush, and I think they're the only ones we haven't found out the name for yet. All other ones have been revealed, and the, all other individuals are usually just regular superhumans. But yes, oh boy. I think Basil Hawkins would be an awesome Magic the Gathering player, or possibly a Yu-Gi-Oh player. I mean, his luck with cards. But overall, I thought this was a phenomenal chapter. And now that we... Oh boy. We got uh, Otsudu. I actually thought that it was just we were just going to be seeing uh, Otsudu. The moment I saw Sudu, I immediately thought of the Marine of uh, Vice Admiral. And I thought we was going to get some of that. But apparently, Otsudu is a person in Wano. Uh, 
now making it two people who share the name Sudu, which makes me wonder if Sudu from the Marines is related or somehow associated with Sudu of Wano. I don't know, just a theory of mine. But Basil Hawkins showcasing his straw 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 abilities that's very good i love the fact that we get to find out more of the capabilities of devil fruits that we've seen but never found out the name or capabilities of i love that i really do love it but also luffy's using the sword but he's still punching people with the fist part of his hand he's not slashing anyone but overall i really did like this chapter and the fact that beppo and the other members of the heart pirates are here as well so it makes me wonder if all the straw hats are in hiding what is law doing and more so is he gonna is are we gonna see another team up of law versus either basil hawkins or kaido because if that's the case this will be the second yonko that they go well no no this will be the second strong person they go up against first was doflamingo and we all seen how long it took for them to beat him. But it makes me wonder, how would they fare against Kaido? I know they're strong, but Kaido is technically, by all extents and purposes, and from what we've heard of and seen, he's unkillable. So it'd be interesting to see how this whole dynamic goes. Seeing the Straw Hats reunite with uh, <coughs> Law once again. So I know I keep saying this, but I thought this was a very good chapter, and especially since we came out of break. We didn't get a chapter last week. We got one the one before. But this is a very good chapter because it just leaves more cliffhangers. And at the same time, it's a good cliffhanger. Because now it's making me wonder not just what's going on with the Straw Hats and Kaido and Basil Hawkins and all the headliners and all the worst generation who are associated with Kaido and all the people of Wano. But it also makes me wonder what is Law doing there while on Wano. I know he went with Zoro and the rest of the Straw Hats. It was just making me wonder, what is he doing right now? But those will be questions we find out the next time because that's the end of the chapter, but it doesn't say we're going on break. So hope you all enjoyed. I can't wait to see you all in the next video. So have a fantastic day. And once again, as always, later, peoples.